Hey guys, my name is Lars and in this video I will quickly show you how you can connect your World of Warcraft private server with friends. So first of all, if you haven't seen my last video how to create a World of Warcraft classic server, just check out my info box and you are right to see what I have done there. If you did this so far, then let's go ahead. So first of all, you need two extra programs. You need the program Heidi SQL and you need the program Logme in Hamachi. You can find both video, uh, both links in the video description down below. And we're ready to start. So I started my server, as you can see. So three of those uh, common windows, uh, common windows are open there, and we are starting the program Heidi SQL. If you downloaded it, you don't need to set anything. It is pre-installed or you can use the uh, portable version as I do. So your password and your username is root, R-O-O-T. Then you open your server and you will find a lot of data banks there. On the left hand side, we can see there's information, uh, scheme and characters, whatever. We would like to go on the VMD database. Then we would like to open the VMList database. And then we need to click on the header data. There you can see a lot of information about your server. There's your server name, so you can change it here. And here's your address. And now comes LogMeIn into game. So what you can do with LogMeIn? Basically, this is a program for local or networks with you and your friend. So you can you need to register an account there and then you can create small networks with up to five people you included if you're using the free version. But so far this is enough. Um, what you need to do is you create an, a network there, then you share your network ID and your password with your friends so they can log in into your network and they need to um, they need to copy your IP address. So how does this work? If they're logged in into your network, they can right click on your name and click on IPv, uh, IPv uh, for address copy. You need to do this as well. So you need your own IPv4 address. Right click on it, IPv4 address copy. Then you go into address and whatever is there inside you delete it and you paste your IP uh, for address in, in it. Uh, after you've done this you can either click uh, on control enter or you can click this little um, this little icon here on top. Uh, basically it, it should be in green um, I added the address to the same as it was before, so it won't show me. If I put there something else in, like for example, uh, 127.0.0.1, uh, now I can change it. So and now the realist address is changed. Um, but what we want is our IP4 address. I will do this. I accept it and you can see, okay, there's an update. Your address was changed to this one and that is the old one. Okay, good. So far, so good. We added the address of our server and our friends are logged into our network and they copied our IP4 address. So far, so good. What they do, what they need to do next, they need to go into their World of Warcraft folder. If you haven't downloaded it yet, Check out my last video. There you can find um, the link in the video description where you can download World of Warcraft. And as we did before, we need to go onto the realmlist.wtf data and we need to change our realmlist. So uh, what we need here is we need to set our realmlist to the IP4 address and your friends need to do this as well. So they copy they easily copy your IP for address into this. They save it. And after the end, after this, um, they can start their World of Warcraft. And if you have created uh, them an account on your server, uh, they can basically log in. So as I can, you see, I logged in over the IP for address on the network and I'm in. So far so good, that's easy. If you, 
have any further questions just let me know comment like and share if you would like to and have a nice day see ya guys